everyone. Another session of Tao Overflows. What is this life beyond form, pervading forms? What is this life beyond form, pervading forms? This is what Devi inquires. There are forms within forms. How to remove these forms and reach to the space? This is what Devi is asking. How may we enter fully ever space and time? Names and descriptions. Name and form. Name and space. Name and descriptions. Form and space. Every form has a name and have a description. And form requires a space and it exists only in time. Whatsoever it is, it has a certain life. It stays for a certain period of time and it occupies a space. How we may enter beyond this space and time beyond names and forms. It is, you have seen an onion. Onion have layers upon layers. You remove one layer, another layer comes in. One form is removed, another form comes in. This process continues until all the forms are removed. But from the being, how the forms can be removed? In winter, you put on many clothes, the shirt, the jacket, this and that and so so one by one you remove each part each uh, each garment that covers the innerness devi is saying to clear my doubts she's although she is asking questions but she knows very well no question can be answered and if a question is answered, the very nature of the mind is, it creates another question. Question after questions, leave, like leaves appear on a tree, questions appear on the mind. Doubting mind is more important to be cleared. The mind is not doubting, but the mind is doubt. Let my doubts be clear. It is very significant. If you are asking an intellectual question, you are asking, therefore, for a definite answer. And no answer can solve your problems. But Devi is saying, let my doubts be cleared. The moment doubts are cleared, the process of transformation of the mind begins because the mind is the doubting element. Mind doubts. Not that mind doubts, mind is doubt. So when the doubts are removed, mind is removed, mind is removed, the time and the space disappears, names and forms disappear. So the process of transformation begins. As long as there is a mind, a child does not have a mind. He has no name, no form, no space, no time. He does not exist in time. He does not exist in space. He does not have any uh, thing to doubt in him. But you as an adult have many doubts in your mind. Your mind is doubting. And the moment the doubts are cleared, transformation of the mind begins because doubting mind will remain a doubting mind always whatsoever answers are given. You give one answer, you will doubt that answer, you will create another question and this process can go on and on. I can go on giving your answers but the doubts will always remain whether this answer is correct or not. You lock the door. The doubting mind says, I wonder if I lock the door properly. So you go and check it. 
and then I wonder if I checked it correctly. This process always goes on. So the questions and their answers are irrelevant. You can ask the question who created this world. If I say A created the world, then you want to know who created B. And if I say B created the world, then you will want to know who created B. This process continues. So Devi's emphasis is on let my doubts be clear. When you ask a question, you may be asking for many reasons. You may be asking for confirmation. A man came to Buddha. He said, I am an atheist and I know you are atheist also. You do not believe in God. What do you say? Buddha said, who says there is no God? Only God is and all around there is God. Then another person came. He said, I am a believer in God. What do you say? Buddha said, there is no God. Then another person came. He said, Bhante, I know nothing, but you are the one who knows it. I do not know whether there is God or not. Let my doubts be cleared. Buddha said, sit down in meditation. Anand asked, what sort of same question you gave the different answers, contradictory answers. Buddha said the first one came to get a confirmation that Buddha also says that there is no God. The next one came to confirm his belief that Buddha says God is. Third one was innocent one. He has no doubt in mind. He simply wanted to experience something. When doubting mind clears, you enter into something which is beyond human comprehension. Mind goes on questioning. And mind questions just like leaves appear on the tree. The question, one question creates, gives, needs an answer creates an answer, many questions create many answers. The doubting mind remains the same way, unmoved. Devi says, do not be concerned with my questions, let my doubt be cleared. What is your reality? What is this wonderful universe? What constitutes this seed? Who centers the universal wheel? What is life beyond form? What is how we what is life beyond form? How we how may we enter above time and space? Name and descriptions. You have a name, you have a description, and something which has a name and description exists in time. And it requires a space that you see always. Mind, when it, mind exists in time. Mind is time bound. And no mind or the state beyond mind is not bound by time or space. How my doubts can be cleared? Will any specific answer will create will clear my doubts? No. Is there any answer that can clear my doubts in mass? Can one answer clear all my doubts? No, that is the process of clearing the doubts is a totally different technique. Unless the mind dissolves, doubts cannot be cleared because mind is doubt. Not that mind doubts. And that process is for that once you are in intimate relation, communion with the master and he takes you into the deeper realms from unconscious to conscious, 
consciousness, from consciousness to beyond consciousness, beyond that, beyond light, and then to empty space and emptiness within and without, beyond light. Shiva will answer the questions, each question with a technique. And these are the most ancient and profound techniques that form the subject matter of Vijnan Bhairav Tantra. The consciousness, the techniques of consciousness, and the one who is beyond the consciousness, who dwells, whose state is beyond consciousness, is Bhairav or Shiva. These techniques, 112 in number, this number is also very significant. Why 112? These are very relevant. This number is very relevant. Do not use your intellect only as an instrument, not as a master. Use intellect as an instrument to understand something. This is very important. Your mind is the master. The computer is the way. Who uses the computer? Your mind. So, computer is not the master. It helps you to attain to all that. Use your intellect, use your intelligence as an instrument, not as a master, to understand something. That should be the way. And once the doubts are cleared, sometimes someone who has transcended the boundaries of seeking enters into the realm of intimate devotion, intimate communion, the person becomes a devotee. Then it is the responsibility of the master to take that person through the deeper realms of deeper realms so that he can experience all this, realize all the different stages and finally make after reaching to the highest point, the, the point beyond time and space, beyond names and descriptions, and then from there can return and use any source, any space as his operating field. So, Clearing of the doubts is very important. In clearing the doubt, the, the faculty of doubt, which is mind, dissolves. And the solution of the mind is, is the process of transformation. The solution of the mind is the process of transformation. How we may enter, how may we go beyond the forms, and enter into the space beyond time, beyond time and space, beyond name and descriptions. Only this much for this morning. Take care and do have a pleasant day. Mm -hmm.